Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hey there, tech fans. Welcome to another ITTV update. I'm your host, Dave Graveline. Remember last week when I teased you about our upcoming cool Into Tomorrow hot summer giveaway having $50,000 worth of cool prizes? Sorry, it's not $50,000. Now it's over $68,000 and growing. You have got to stay tuned to find out how you can win some of those prizes. More details soon and of course at Graveline.com. We're less than one month away now from the DTV cutover. Finally, it's really happening this time, we promise. We've shown you our favorite DTV converter boxes, but this time we have one that's also a DVR. Rob is up next. Thanks, Dave. I'm excited to hear the DTV transition is almost here. June 12th is around the corner, folks. Now, less than a month away. We've been talking a lot about it on Into Tomorrow for a long time. However, some of you still may not be prepared. And if you are, how about taking DTV a step further? You probably heard us talking a lot about the DTV PAL converter box. Well, this one has a built-in DVR or digital video recorder. Some of you may think that DVRs are limited to satellite and digital cable subscribers. Ah, but you'd be wrong. Those of you using rabbit ears or an outdoor antenna can also enjoy the benefits of pausing live TV, rewinding, and recording your favorite shows that you would have otherwise missed. What we love most about it is the fact that you won't have to keep recording to those old VHS tapes. I know someone who used to record Oprah onto VHS tapes, but recently got a DVR and swears she won't go back. You'll find the same thing with your favorite TV shows. Setup is not tricky at all. Just plug in your off-air antenna, rabbit ears or an outdoor antenna, and connect the DTV PAL DVR to your TV. Simple. Using an on-screen program guide, you can select and record up to 150 of your favorite standard definition shows and up to 30 hours of high definition programming. There's also a program search feature. You can search by title, keyword, or themes. By the way, the program guide is free, so you won't need to pay any subscription fees. And you'll know what's on seven days in advance. The DTV PAL DVR is not coupon eligible because coupon eligible converter boxes cannot include enhanced features like a DVR. However, Dish Network is offering a $50 discount on the DTV PAL DVR, so you pay only $250. Well worth it when you compare that to how much you've wasted on VHS tapes. We truly hope you're ready for the DTV cutover. Come June 12th, you'll either get TV or you won't. Of course, if you have satellite or cable, you're good but be safe and check with your TV programming provider. By the way, our very own Dave Graveland was just inducted into the Academy of Digital TV Pioneers. He's now part of a select group of individuals who have played a significant role in the decade-long effort that has made digital TV a reality for all of us. Congratulations, Dave. Let's go get a drink. There you go, Rob. Now you won't have to record your dance shows on my DVR. Oh, and thanks for the props about the DTV Academy. I see you noticed the lapel pin. It's an honor and we've been glad to help educate TV viewers all around the country. Are you drooling over cool new gadgets but being hit hard by the recession? Ah, well, not to worry. We award cool prizes just for calling in and participating on our weekly radio show. Join us anytime, 24-7 at 800-899-4686. That's 1-800-899-INTO. If you're outside of North America, send us a brief quality MP3 to askdave at graveline.com. Either way, you win when you join us on the show. This ITTV Into Tomorrow TV update is brought to you by Newegg.com. Want to save money on electronics? Newegg.com has a daily shell shocker promotion. One shocking deal per day, every day. Visit Newegg.com now for jaw-dropping savings on close to 40,000 tech products. Newegg.com, voted best place to buy online. Are you familiar with that sound? Do you remember when you first heard it? Chris Graveline reminisces with us next on This Week in Tech History. 
This week, back in 1857, William Channing and Moses Farmer patented the electric fire alarm system in Boston, Massachusetts. That was the first city to adopt the system. In 1900, Edwin Vody of Detroit, Michigan patented his pianola. It was a pneumatic piano player that could be attached to any piano. This week in 1906, the Wright brothers were granted U.S. patent number 821,393 for their flying machine. And in 1980, Namco released Pac-Man, probably one of the most well-known video games of all time. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thanks, Chris. Do you want to jump on our various giveaways and other news about the show? Sign up for our free once a week tech newsletter. It's easy and we keep your email address private. Just enter your email address in the red box at graveline.com. Thanks for joining us into tomorrow. I'm Dave Graveline and I'll watch for you next week right here. Meantime, let's meet on the radio.